Mr. Lewis, uh, thank you for being honest about saying you're not sure about the AZA allowing electric shock, but I'm reading the latest version updated in 2003, and it says electric prods are permissible, et cetera, et cetera. What so is that's the et cetera, et cetera? What's that? What is the et cetera, et cetera? That's on his time, Mr. President. Yeah. <laughs> Electric prods are permissible only as an emergency safety de uh, uh, device. However, their, it, their use is restricted to situations in which keepers feel the imminent need to defend themselves against elephant attacks or to protect an elephant from possible injury, and that's the end of that. Thank you. But, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you, with all due respect, did you just prove something by me reading that? My time, please. <laughs> yeah, because it's what I've been experiencing where pieces of information are pulled out of context. No, 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 but the question by Councilmember Alarcon was, is it permissible under AZA? He didn't say, is it permissible under certain conditions? He asked you a simple question. A few minutes ago, you couldn't remember. Now that I started reading it, you remembered that there was other things said along with it. That's kind of interesting. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear your last Mr. comment, sir. Mr. President, please, please mind my time. Well, yeah, your time's being held. Thank you very much. Because he was speaking and I saw you. No, it's, it's, you're at 211. Keep on going.